Welcome to the exercises for chapter four. So this chapter was about applications of uh, vectors and vector operations. And so the exercises are also all about vector applications. First couple of exercises are about correlation and cosine similarity and implementing these in code and then comparing them to appreciate the difference between correlation coefficient and cosine similarity. Okay, so exercise one is to write a Python function that will take two vectors as input and provide two numbers, two scalars as output. So we want the Pearson correlation coefficient and we want cosine similarity. Now, both of these values we can obtain uh, with very little coding by using Python functions, for example, that come from uh, NumPy or SciPy. But that is not the point of this exercise. The purpose is not just to produce some output. The purpose is to really understand the mechanism of the dot product and the cosine similarity. And to do that, we have to implement these formulas without using uh, dedicated functions like numpy.corecoef or Pearson R or uh, no, uh, scipy.spatial.distance.cosine. Okay, so... Uh, and then, yeah, we want to check that the two output values are identical when the variables are mean-centered. And we know from reading the chapter that uh, these two quantities should be different when the variables are not mean-centered. All right, so now I will switch to Python. I'll walk you through my solution. Here is my Python function. It takes two inputs, x and y. These are both going to be numpy arrays. And let's see, so first I compute the cosine similarity. Now, by the way, notice that I'm actually breaking up this computation into multiple lines of code. This is not necessary. You could do this whole thing in one line of code. Uh, but I do recommend breaking up equations into multiple pieces, multiple lines of code, especially when you are just getting started with coding. I think this really helps to make sure that your code, code is clear and unambiguous, easy to read, less likely to have bugs, and so on. Okay, so the numerator for cosine similarity is just the dot product between x and y, and the denominator is the product of the norms of the two vectors. So I have a norm of x times the norm of y, and then we just divide them. That is our cosine similarity. And now you can see that the computation of the Pearson correlation coefficient is really, really similar. In fact, if you just look at these two lines, these two lines are identical to these two lines. So cosine similarity and correlation coefficient are very similar. The only difference is that with a correlation coefficient, you first mean center the variables. So you mean center the vectors. And that's why I have these two additional lines of code here. And this immediately, I think, makes it very clear that um, cosine similarity and correlation coefficient will be identical when the variables are already mean-centered. So if the mean is zero, then you're subtracting zero, which means that these two uh, sets of computations are identical. Okay, so then uh, I return these two, and here I'm testing it uh, with two vectors, A and B. These are two 15-element random vectors. You know, you could use 150, the number of elements doesn't matter. And um, yeah, so then I compute the correlation coefficient, uh, that's R, and the cosine similarity, that's C. And then I'm just, actually, I'm not printing out uh, C here. So I'll just run it. And uh, this line here compares R to the NumPy correlation uh, function. And we certainly expect these two values to be the same, which you can see they are. But actually, I also want to compare R and C. So yeah, let's just write out R and C. Actually, I think I can just write... Uh, Maybe I'll do it like this to make the comparison a bit better. Print R, print this, and then print C. So now we get the correlation coefficient that I computed in my function, the correlation coefficient returned by NumPy, and the cosine similarity. Now you can see in this case, the correlation coefficient and cosine similarity are close, but not identical. And why is that an expected result? Well, we have numbers randomly drawn from a distribution that has zero as its theoretical mean. So the empirical mean of A and B is probably not going to be exactly zero, but it will be really close to zero 
So therefore, we expect some differences, but not large differences between uh, Pearson correlation and cosine similarity. Okay, very nice. So now uh, let's move on to the next part. Here, we want to explicitly compare the correlation coefficient and cosine similarity when there definitely is a big mean offset and when there is no mean offset, so when they both have a mean of zero. So again, I'm creating two random vectors, and here I'm adding 10 to uh, A. So, so it's definitely going to be a huge mean offset of A relative to B. Okay, and then I'm uh, subtracting the mean, so that gives me two other vectors, which are uh, the same vectors, mostly the same numbers, but it's just mean-centered. So my expectation is that uh, the Pearson correlation coefficient will be the same here and here, and the cosine similarity will be different here versus here. Okay, so let's run these results here. Uh, run this code. So here we see without mean centering, they are uh, these two numbers are very different. So these two numbers are the output of my function core and cosine. And here is uh, with mean centering, and you can see that they are the same. Very nice.